hello everyone welcome to the security center practical series so this is in continuation with the practical in which we have already done two parts this is examining telnet and ssh in wireshark and the last one investigating a malware exploit today we will study about investigating an attack on a windows host so these are the software resources the host os is windows 10 then the guest os is kali linux and the virtualization software is oracle virtualbox 7.0 and we also need Wireshark on Windows. Now this is part 3 of course, investigating an attack on Windows host. So we will be following these 3 steps. The first will be sending simple ping messages from Kali machine to Windows and Windows to Kali so that we know that they are connected on the same network. Then step 2 is sending ping flooding messages from Kali Linux to Windows and then analyzing the packets. So this is an attack. Then the third is performing port scanning from Kali Linux. This is again another attack. So we'll launch these two attacks and analyze uh, the attacks on Windows. Now let's start with Oracle VirtualBox. We'll just turn it on. Now before starting the Kali Linux machine, we must check this settings. In the settings, we go to the network. So this uh, network should be attached either to host only adapter or maybe like bridge adapter so that the Kali Linux as well as the Windows host, they have the same IP, they are the, on the same network. So now let us start this. So now we are into the Kali machine. Now one more thing, uh, we will open up the command prompt in the windows. So I just type the command prompt here. So this is the command prompt. So, so this is the command prompt of windows. Okay. On the back side we have the Linux. So now uh, let us see what we can do next. So we need to check the IP address of both the machines. So I just click on this command uh, of uh, command prompt of windows. CD backslash uh, now uh, IP config. So this is the IP configuration, Windows IP configuration. So you can see this Ethernet adapter. Sorry. You can see this part adapter. So this IP, this is the IP address 192.168.56.1. So we must note this address. Okay. This is the IP address of Windows machine. Now we can open up a terminal in Kali. And then here type the command if config. So here we are. Uh, so this is the IP address of the this Kali Linux machine 192.168.56.103, and it was in the in the Windows it is 56.1. Now let us type some simple ping messages from uh, Kali machine. So ping to check whether they are connected or not. So ping 192.168.56.103. Dot one. So as you can see, we are getting the reply from the machine. So it is, we are getting the reply. So it is connected. Control C. Now let us come to the command prompt. Now next we come to the command prompt of Windows and type the ping command and the IP address of the Kali machine 192.168.56.103. So as we can see, reply is coming. So both the machines are connected. Now next what we do is we come back to the Kali machine, the command prompt of Kali machine. And on the Windows machine, what we do is we start the Wireshark. And uh, we have to select the interface. So in my case, the interface to which this we are getting that address, IP address is this. Uh, we, we want to check this I, uh, Ethernet 3 interface because when I typed that command IP config in Windows the IP address 192 that was assigned to this Ethernet so I've selected interface now let us come back to the Kali command prompt the terminal now we again type the message uh, ping okay. we are pinging from Kali Linux to Windows and we'll check the uh, this here 
So now we open Wireshark. So as you can see, we are getting the 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 packets are getting captured at the on the this Wireshark. So this is the source, the destination. So when we type the ping command in Linux, 64 bytes are sent. Okay, 64 actually messages are sent actually. So now we can stop this. Just stop this. Control C. So and when we, when we click on any of the packet we get the information here so this is the icmp message of course the ping messages and here when we click on the internet protocol we get the source address the destination address so the ping message is sent by the kali machine that is 192.168.56.103 and this is the destination of our windows machine now let's see what we can how we can uh, launch an attack so we come back to the Kali machine and first of all we just stop this okay, and restart this again so we just uh, continue without saving okay. so now we come back to the command uh, the terminal of Kali Linux and here we type the command ping so we want to create a flood flooding we want to create a large number of uh, ping messages okay. we are flooding that particular windows with uh, large number of ping messages okay. So here we are typing the command and the IP address. So it is 192.168.56.1. So what this particular command will do, it will it will generate large number of ping messages okay, with a delay of 2 milliseconds. Okay. So we are flooding that particular PC, the, the, the Windows system. So this attack we can also if there are large number of machines which are which which, uh, which are uh, attacking the windows it can also create a DOS denial of service attack we can overwhelm the windows machine so let us see I'll just type yes okay so as you can see fast messages ping messages are sent okay now let us come to this window so here you can see this is the what we are getting okay so every millisecond one uh, ping message is sent so we can overwhelm this particular source uh, th this particular destination so I'll just slop this control C okay. and here we come back to the Wireshark okay. so here we can see so many number of messages okay. this are the large number of ping requests sent from uh, and of course this is the ICMP okay. So when we analyze this, of course, the we uh, it is very simple message. This is just echo messages are sent from the source Kali machine to the destination Windows machine. So uh, it does not require much analysis. The simple message is there. Okay. Now how to stop this? We can actually uh, note here in this case that all the source messages we can even have a filter here. Okay. So IP dot source. You can just click on this and then so we can identify the source that this all the messages have come from this source all the odd number of messages okay. so we can if such thing is coming from our source we can block that particular source this is what we can do now let us see another attack from uh, Kali Linux now the next attack will be the port scanning so for that purpose I will just close this terminal and uh, here we can see there is a root terminal emulator so we need for that purpose we need this root terminal emulator so we need the password so Kali is the password so we get this this is the red color prompt so we get this root we need a root access so uh, before doing for the root uh, that particular command we will just uh, stop this and restart Wireshark so continue without saving okay. now we come back to this so now we will do the port scanning so the command is nmap dash s capital S okay. so this is the scanning command so the IP address is 192.168.1 56.1 so what this command will do actually 
so this is actually the command which scans the ports which are open in the windows machine so the, the target ip is of course 192.168.56.1 the actually with the host which we want we want to scan so here the s small s capital s indicates the syn scan now this is a stealthy scanning method it sends sync packets to the ports and waits for the response and does not complete the tcp handshake so it is uh, difficult to be detected by the ids systems so let us see what we get so we just we just enter so it is scanning has started it will take some time so we are getting this output so what information we can get from this particular is the very first thing is the latency now the latency is 0.0041 second so what conclusion the attacker will get from this is that the attack the the the, the one the the victim host is in the same network because it is getting a very high responsive time then uh, there are ports 999 filtered so there are ports with where it didn't get any response okay. only one response was received from 7070 tcp open so this is the port which is tcp open and is the real server is working on this particular port so this is only open port available for attack and this is the mac address okay. so this is the this is the mac address of the victim machine and the you can say unknown is written so it means that the manufacturer's this mac address is unknown now let us come to the wire shark so this is the wire shark this is the one important thing this is the analysis we have to do so in this particular case what analysis we get is that here if we click on any of the packet okay just stop this so if i click on any of the packet so you can see so many number of scanning messages were sent from the kali linux machine okay so it started with this okay and you can see different ports were scanned okay you can see i'll just click on any of the packet so here also you can see so it what the system was doing what kali machine was doing it was sending the this was the, this is the port address of uh kali machine 60 so it used a 60244 port and this is the destination port so 80 number destination port so it was what the the kali machine was doing it was checking whether this port is open or not so it was this port number is 80 it was checking with this this is the source address this is the destination address so sequentially the one after the other so this 143 so what in this particular packet what we see is that the kali machine was using the port number 60246 and it was checking the port address 143 so every process in any system is running with a port number port so this is the port number of the destination windows machine so with this all these messages as we can see that uh, kali machine was sending a sequence of messages which were scanning all the open ports in the windows machine and only one port was successful at 7070 it received the the reply from that so this is the thing we are getting from this particular analysis okay so you can see this one 7070 it received the message from 707 so this is the only port which was open Other, otherwise it was not getting any data so from this particular analysis what we observe is that somebody has launched a port scanning on our machine Okay, and we can alert the admin about this. So this is how we can launch. There are various varieties of other attacks. Now, what the attacker will do? Attacker knows that seven zero seven zero is uh, open, so it can attack, so launch attack by some other means to enter into the system. So that's all for this session. Thanks for watching.